Hello everyone, my name is Salar and you are watching Smart Code. So the biggest part of problem solving in applications where you use a group of radio buttons is finding the checked radio button. Radio buttons are great input tool. And today in this simple weight converter application, you will be learning how to program radio buttons and how to grab the value of the selected radio button in the JavaScript. Right, so let's learn this concept. So in my code editor, I have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. And you can see our HTML file has already references to the CSS and the JavaScript file, right? So we are going to write first the uh, HTML for the application. Start off with a div application. And now put the title of the application. And after the title, I will define the input area in another div. Let's call it div input and here we are going to code a label element and an input element for the text box and now code a text box so here you see the output in the browser a title a label and an input element and the weight entered in kilogram unit is converted into the other units like pound ounce and gram right let's now figure out the radio buttons for the different units so we are going to take a separate container for the radio buttons. Let's call it div units. And inside the units div, we are going to code three different radio buttons, right? Right, so that is our first radio button for the unit pound. And this radio button is our default radio button and it will be checked always when the application is loaded and so now we need to code two more radio buttons one for ounce and one for gram Right, so here we have three radio buttons with different values and the IDs, but the name to all of them is the same. So you also code your radio buttons like this. They must have the same name. And once they have the same name, it becomes a group of radio buttons. And then you're only allowed to check only one radio option at the time. And so now we need a button to calculate the values. So let's code it. And together with the button, we can also take a paragraph for showing the result, right? So this is our simple application. And so here is the output in the browser. Now the CSS for this application is already written and it's a very simple CSS. The download link to the source files you will find in the description. So download the source files and you will get the entire CSS or you can write your own CSS. Let's now jump to the final and the important round where we write some interesting JavaScript. Now the first step in the JavaScript should be to define an event handler to the calculate button. So let's first get the button using the get element by ID method. And the ID to the button is calc, which we're going to use. And so now we are going to listen for the click event to the button. Call the event listener to the button and listen for the click event and a function which is called when the click is performed. Now after this initial part we are going to get the inputs and in our application there are two different inputs right the value entered in the text box and the selected radio button. So let's get them in the program one by one. Get the text box in the program using the get element by id method and our text box has an id weight underscore kg and now i will use a period notation and refer to the value property that's it right so now we have the value in the javascript but this value is in form of a string so at the same time when we read the value we can pass it to the 
pass float function and convert it to the floating point number. Right, so now we have value in the floating point numbers and we can easily perform mathematics operation to it. Now the second input in our program is from the radio buttons and this one is going to be interesting. So let's first create a variable for storing the input. Let's call it unit option. Now in JavaScript there are several methods to get the elements. For example, get element by ID, get element by name and query selector to name a few. So the method that allows us to get the checked radio button is the query selector method. You can, however, use the get element by ID or the query selector all methods. But in this case, your code will become cumbersome because you need to code extra conditions to find out the checked one. But the query selector is flexible and it will give you the result straight away. So what is query selector and how does it work? Well, this query selector method uses the CSS selectors to get the element in the JavaScript. You can, for example, use ID class or type selectors. So the selector that we will be using here is the type selector. That is the same as the name of the element. And so now our query selector method will get the input element. The question is which input element in our HTML file? So we have four different input elements. The query selector finds the first match in the document and it actually finds this input element because this is the first element in the term structure tree and this one is the text box. Let's now in the JavaScript check out if this is happening or not. Let's log the variable in the cancel and see what do we get. And so in the cancel we have an error related to the value. So we need to fix this error first and I think we have misspell the weight. So now we are good. Now click on the button. And here you see the first input element, which is the text box in the cancel. So this is how query selector works. It finds the first match, but the selector can be enhanced and modified. And now we will enhance the selector and become more specific. And we would say input elements, which have the name unit. And so now our query selector method gonna select the input element that has the name unit. And once again, it selects only the first match. And that means that one is selected by the query selector. So that is not what we want to have happen because you will always get this pound input element. In spite of the fact, if it is checked or unchecked, you will always get it. So in the JavaScript, we are going to again modify the selector. And now we are going to put the colon and we will say we are only interested of the checked one. And so now we are good. We will only get the radio button, which is checked. And once we get the checked radio button, we would say filter out everything, but give us the value. So the value is different in HTML. So we have value pound, ounce, and gram, right? And so now we will be getting these values. So let's check it out in the browser. So the pound is selected by default. So make a click and here you see the pound. Now change the option and select ounce. Make a click and here you see we get the ounce and now check the final option gram calculate and we get the gram option. That's it. Only a single line of code and you grab the checked radio button, right? So now we have both the inputs. Let's now get this application done. So we are going to write another function that converts the weight in kg into other units. The name of the function is get weight and it will take two parameter weight in kg and the unit option, right? And now we would say if the unit option equals pound, then we would convert the weight in the kg to the pounds. And if the user option is equal to ounce, then we would return the weight in the ounce. And finally, weight in grams.
and for publishing the result we already have reserve paragraph here we have it so get this paragraph and publish the result and so now we will call our function get weight and to the function we will pass two parameters weight in kg and the unit option that's it and i hope you understand the program flow we are first gathering the inputs here and then we are calling the function and sending the input values here to the function for the processing the function is going to process the values and return us a result and that result is assigned back to this paragraph right so now our application is completed let's now run it in the process so enter weight in kg let's say 12 kilogram the selected unit is pound now calculate and here you see the result right now select the ounce and here you see the result and finally the gram and here you see 12,000 right so that was a simple application and i hope you learn how to program the radio buttons and how to grab the selected one in the javascript i will see you around and thanks for watching